Welcome to this B1 Print Delivery e-learning session. On this uh, session, we are going to look at report action and print report type. So here we are in Business One, and we have a report action of type print report selected. And as the name says, it's all about printing the, the report uh, to some kind of printer uh, in the system. Uh, so let's go through the different uh, settings we have here. So uh, the printer um, can be just set to nothing, as you see here, which will mean that is the default printer. And for the demonstration of these features, I will use the sales order. But of course, because it's printing, I can't really show the out-of-the-box results. So I, what I will do is I will use a PDF printer. Because you can go in and say it shouldn't just be the default printer, it should be a specific printer on the system. As you can see, I don't have any uh, printers on this specific system, uh, but I could take the Microsoft Print to PDF uh, and update and then press the print button, which will result in me being asked where should I save that PDF. I'll just save it here, test. And that would represent what would happen in a, instead of a print uh, to a physical printer. If we look inside the select printer system, you can choose a fixed printer, but there's also some options down here in order to choose dynamic printer name, meaning that uh, if you uh, use remote desktop, uh, sometimes your, your printer can be forwarded. Uh, but the name of the printer will always get a parenthesis one, parenthesis two, and so on in that system. This little bot will tell a bit more about it. But essentially it is, you take your printer name, you get rid of the last part of it, and it will then just match whatever starts with that printer name. So it's a little uh, nice feature for those who want to print via a remotely uh, a remote printer uh, in remote desktop. So that's the printer selection part of it. Um, beyond that, we also have number of copies. Uh, and uh, of course, you can just write, I want three copies and so on. But you can also use SQL colon in order to figure out how many, uh, how many uh, number of copies you want. For example, select three. Again, that's the same as just writing three right now. But it could be that you had on business partner that says number of copies you need to, to print out, for example. Or it could be used in the dynamic syntax uh, from SAP in some kind of view, number of copies. Uh, that you have in your system. Uh, so you have the option to both specify uh, fixed values and dynamic values for the system. In the same manner, you can also choose the from and uh, to page uh, of the crystal report, uh, meaning that you example one that prints on pre-printed paper with some logos and the rest of the pages should just be on white paper from a different tray, for example, because the way you choose trays in this system is also make the same printer two times uh, in your system. And, uh, and choose the, diff uh, the defaults of those printers. Uh, each printer is different with trays and stuff, so that's the best way of giving a generic solution. So the from and to pages are like that, and in the same manner, you can actually use the SQL colon and things on these fields uh, instead of just having fixed values. We also have the print dialog, meaning that instead of using the printer up here, Every time we would print, it would ask us which printer this time should we use, how many copies, and so on, just like you know from Microsoft Word, for example. And finally, we have the additional print button here, where it's possible to take various different uh, extra uh, things that you want to print along with the, the crystal report. That could be terms and conditions, that could be instructions, that could be any kind of things. Uh, and as you can see here, you can use hard-coded values, you can use dynamic syntax, you can use SQL, SQL colon, or you can use what is called SQL multi. So each record that comes back from that SQL being a 
being a part to a file could be then printed. This supports txt files, docx files and pdfs. Uh, any other uh, types will just be ignored here. Uh, but PDF is the, the most normal one you, you would ever use in this system. And that is actually everything you have in the Crystal Reward print. Of course, printing is going uh, going out these days. More and more is email. Uh, so that is the uh, next one we were going to look at. So see you in the next one.